principal painter and I'm ready. I, are you ready? I am ready to show you the craft room. This has been a labor of love. It has taken hours and hours and hours of work. I thought I'd be done in a couple days. Just mark that one off the list. That did not happen. But um, I've got some changes to my channel coming. I'm gonna start more unboxings in my craft room and um, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions about anything that I'm showing you or where I got it, please ask questions in the comments. I don't mind answering them. I try to get to all comments and answer them. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. I'm Kara and um, tonight we're doing a little bit different of a video because I'm showing my newly organized craft room. If you'll remember my first video when I let you through these doors, I was like this, like don't come in. I'm ready. This is now a space that I love. This is now a space that sparks joy and creativity. And it's a space that I can't wait to get in. I've been very excited that some of you have been inspired to, to do some organization of your own. And um, I'm, I'm happy that that's happening. So. I'll shut up now and we can go in. Are you ready? Ta-da! Here it is! Can you believe it? it? Doesn't even look like the same room! Oh my gosh. Where do I start? Where do I even start? Um, I've reconfigured the room. Marlon's just going to kind of walk around and show it to you <clears throat> at every angle. I've reconfigured the room. I've moved my craft table um, to another spot. Um, and again, this is all Organization 101. Um, it's taken several attempts to organize some of the stuff um, that I wanted to organize. Uh, okay, so let's start. Just let's start here, okay? I have tried to use up every bit of organizational space that I can. The doors are being used, walls are being used, all kinds of things. So we'll start here with the back of the craft room door. This is an over the door hanger. I have got all of my crafting paper in it. Uh, as I told you in one of my previous organization videos, this paper is 12 by 12. It doesn't, it's not a standard size piece of paper. So I got this particular organizer off of Amazon. I will try to link it below. Um, I just looked up over the door organization and I found this. And also, let me open the door again. You can see that my rolls of vinyl are right here on the other side of it. So that's double your storage uh, for one area. Over here, I got these shelves from Amazon. That's where all my paints are, where I've displayed some books, my Randall Spanglers and my Dakota books. Uh, I have my very special Randall Spangler picture that he was so sweet and in uh, my first collab for Season of Spang Spangler with uh, Brandy and Mystery of Diamonds, my bestie, he did both of us an original print and that was very special to me. He's autographed the back of it so I, I had to put that up. Um, this dresser, th this is where I got these guys. These I got from Amazon. These are art dot drawers for all of my sparklers. Uh, so everything has a space. And like I said, some of this got organized and then I didn't like it. Your craft room has to work for you. You have to be able to use it. And, and again, it has to be usable to you. So I am not saying that any of this is the end all be all. I'm just saying it works for me. Um, I found some of my scissors that, that's on this Lazy Susan situation, so um, I've got those for my paper crafts. Uh, this is just a, <laughs> if you're wondering what this is, this is just a little clear jar that I got a long time ago, and I've been dumping my spare drills for my special drills, special projects in that, so it just looks pretty. I have a picture of Marmar and I. Um, a little lamp that I did that changes color, some of my diamond painting pens. Um, I did have to call through and I did have to get rid of some stuff uh, to get it to, to where it's like this. Drawers, I'm not going to go through every drawer, but this uh, I'll show you this top drawer. I put the things in this top drawer that I use on a regular basis. Um, Design Round Sticker Maker, uh, because a lot of diamond painting companies are now doing pre-cut, pre-stick labels, I don't have to use this as often, but I've got it in case. I've got my brayer to roll. This is what I roll over my diamond paintings when I'm done with them uh, to make sure all the drills are down. Washi tape, um, label maker. 
If you don't have a label maker and you want to organize, get one of these Dymo label makers. And I've got extra labeling in there. Um, these two things on the dresser are my next giveaway for my next live with Dakota Dateweiler for Dakota Thon. So that's easy to find. I just put them here. Um, I've got some other special drills projects and other things in these drawers. Again, I've made I have made use of every inch of space. So you can see diamond painting pens are where they're supposed to be. I have my Bellart Dana Cole trays in my tray tower. I've just put the empty trays in there to better organize those. My cover minders are uh, hanging up to where I can display them. They're pretty. Uh, I love them. They make me happy. Uh, my tins for, uh, from uh, Distracted by Diamonds and Patty Wax are here. Uh, gosh, okay. So here again is my crafting table. Look, look how far I've gotten. This is my uh, project that I'm currently working on, my whip. Uh, this is Raised by Wolves. It was one that I was uh, honored enough to be able to unbox for you as a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. I have put all kinds of things. These are bubble drills uh, that I've put down and replaced in here. So again, this is just a space that I want to be in now. It's clear and organized and I can get to where I'm, you know, finding things and, and I can move in here. Um, this is my journal, my personal journal that um, I'll share some things at the end of this tour. Uh, over here, this was a special painting that I wanted to put up and make sure I got up. This is Lumina. This was the very first collab I ever did. I didn't even know what a collab was when I did this collab and uh, my bestie Brady and I did it together. And uh, I finished her and I had her framed and I thought she's got to go on the wall. These guys, uh, it's taken me a little bit to get this crafting room to where I want to film it because I just feel like there's company coming over, you know, and I wanted everything to be perfect. And I got these two Micah Jolina prints. Um, she signed the back of this one and the front of this one and I've gotten these frames to put them in. Well, one of them was dented. I didn't look very carefully and I thought, okay, I've got to cover up these frames somehow. Y'all, this is vase filler from the Dollar Tree and I just started gluing vase filler around these frames and I think they look whimsical. They look kind of funky, kind of like the Micah Jolina style of things and I'm, I'm very excited about how they, they turned out and I was gluing all of these down and Marlon was like, Kara, how did you learn how to do that? I said, I didn't, I'm just doing it tonight. So I'm just, you know, on a wing and a prayer, glued all these things down and some of them came off and I had to, you know, it, it was a lot of time spent on that. So uh, that's that. And then the other diamond painting I have up, this is my first handle in, I just love her. This is Moon Glow. A lot of you that have been with my channel for a long time will remember she's been in the corner on the floor and now she's proudly hanging up. Now, my paintings in here are going to change. I, as you can see, I've got this blank wall in the back. Diamond paintings are going to go here. I've got Eden, my unicorn, at the framers, so I'm going to get that up. This wall um, is going to be kind of my seasonal wall. I only have one Valentine's Day diamond painting. Um, this one is... A China company. I, I did this one so long ago, but I loved it. It was abstract hearts. And so I got a little frame for it. So that's what this one is. Um, and as the years go by, I will be adding some seasonal things. I also thought this dresser um, could be used to display some DIY things. I just got done with this, my XOXO. I did make all these little rosettes that are on here. Uh, it was really fun to make and I, I just love it. You know me, I love farmhouse, I love the shabby chic, French countryside, all that kind of stuff. So um, it was fun to do this. So I'll display some uh, DA, uh, DAC, listen to me, <laughs> DIY stuff. Um, this particular dresser or cart, sort so to speak, I did purchase for my craft room. It was covered in 
crud. So what I did was I made this kind of my Cricut command center. So I've got this uh, Lazy Susan on here with all of my supplies for DIYing and you know any other things. I've got scissors in here, pens, whatever I, I may need and it just goes around and around. Um, I can easily pick this up and move it and move the DIY. I will turn the Cricut to the side and then I will have a large space so I can print on my vinyl. So uh, love that. I've made this my coloring station. That's one of my passions. I've got my coloring books and my markers and colored pencils and everything organized. On the bottom shelf, as you can see, I've got some boxes, some boxes that are storing some of my spare drills. And I've also got my computer and my mouse right here so I can grab it whenever I need to uh, to film anything or do lives, that, that kind of thing. I do Canva. Uh, pages on there for YouTube and whatnot. On the back of the closet door, before I take you into the closet, this is my cross stitch and thank goodness, I'm, I'm not into, you guys know this, I'm a crochet failure. Um, so I'm not a yarny person, but I do have some yarn. I've got this big uh, yarn I was gonna do some Valentine's Day projects with. If not, I can um, finger knot a big chunky blanket, which I've been really wanting to do. So I got a couple of a couple of skeins of this yarn which I really thought was pretty. I've got um, embroidery hoops, I've got aid cloth, I've got project bags and lots and lots of patterns but it's all right here on the door. All right, are you ready to see the closet? The closet. Okay, I'm gonna let Marlon in ahead of me. And there's still a lot of stuff in this closet. However, it's organized. It is organized. So, okay, let me get in here, sorry. Remember the carts that I bought. I've got a couple of carts here. I did have to put a couple in the garage, but that is okay. Uh, I had an over the, door, uh, over the bar hanger for my florals, but it didn't work. They were falling out. It was just a disaster. So I put them back on the cart. I can see what I've got. I can grab the florals that I need, and these carts are on wheels, so if I need to pull them out, I can just pull them out easily. These are some extra storage containers that I don't know what I'm gonna store in. Um, here is some more DIY items. You can see I've got these little bins down here with beads that I've labeled. Um, got my carrots for Easter, woohoo! <laughs> so I'll be doing some crafting with those. Um, tumbling tower blocks, that, that kind of thing. Back here. And we're going to get into this in just a little bit. Back here are the diamond paintings. And I had to make a choice, guys. I had to be very discerning on my choices. These are the diamond paintings that I wanted to keep, that I thought I might be doing. Um, there's some diamond paintings over here that I'm going to be using as giveaways. Some that I'm going to be doing unboxings with. And this is what I was very choosy about. There were seven, guys. Seven huge bins that we took to storage full of diamond paintings. Um, it was, it was a lot, it was a lot. Um, and if you stick with me until the end, I'm going to be kind of having a real conversation with you about organizing and what I learned through this whole process. Up above here, you can see I've got books, I've got, um, uh, cross stitch books. I've got, um, Jennifer Roberts diamond painting log book. I've got, uh, I wanted to be able to letter a little bit better. So this is a book about hand lettering. I have an extra light pad project uh, drills. So some of these drills are in this box, but most of them are with the paintings. Um, some more paper crafts, paper cutters, stamps and stencils, stickers, clings, rub on transfers. And I'm telling you this off the cuff because everything is labeled. Um, here's DIY stuff. These are bigger paints that wouldn't go on the wall. Uh, my wood stain and sealer, my polycrylic and all of that wood stuff. Um, paper enhancements and glitter, double-sided tape, wood filler, caulk, and baby wipes. I do have another container with a glue stick, but since I was working on that DIY piece I just showed you, the XOXO with the little rosettes on it, my um, glue sticks and glue guns are out in the other room, and I'm going to put them all away, and they will go back up here. Now, I know I'm tall, so vertical space is not a challenge for me to get down. For some of you that are not, uh, I'll say vertically challenged, maybe a little bit shorter than six feet tall, um, there's enough room in here where if you want to put a step ladder or a little step stool so you can step up and still utilize your vertical space, you can do that. But 
I can get in here, I know what's in here, and can easily get it. Guys, I feel so much better, so much better. Oh, can I just do a little show and tell? This little chair, if anyone has seen it and is wondering, my mother, who was the crafter, remember, she hand painted this little miniature chair and she painted it um, when my first son, Doug, was born. His nursery was in Noah's Ark. And I mean, she, every bit of this, she hand painted. Um, yeah, I will never be as crafty as her, but uh, I'm just enjoying the fact that this is in here and I can look at it and enjoy it. So um, that's that. All right, now that you've taken a little bit of a tour, I, I'm gonna have a seat here because I can now and I can move. And we're gonna just have a little bit of a conversation about what I've discovered through this whole process. Sorry, raised by wolves, I'm moving you over. <laughs> I did take some notes as I went along. <clears throat> so these are my top 10 craft space organization tips. Patience. When you're dealing with a mess as big as I was, um, I had to have patience. I wanted it, I have, I have no patience, you know that. I wanted it all done in like two days. That was an impossibility. If you wanna get your crafting space where it is usable for you and it brings you joy and it helps you uh, be more creative and make you wanna be in the space and put things out that make you happy, it's gonna take longer. It's gonna take a long time. If you allot 15 to 20 minutes a day, even if it's just 15 or 20 minutes a day to clean up one drawer or one area, you've done something and you need to feel good about that. Give yourself some grace because this is a long process. One or, uh, number two, one organization system may not work for you. Like I said, I tried to put my florals in and over the, uh, the closet rod and it didn't work for me. They were all falling out. I hated it, it wasn't working, so I put them back on the cart that's gonna work for me. So you may get one organization system and go, I hate this, this is not working. If it's not working for you, don't force it because you won't use it. Maybe you can use it for something else. I still have my over the bar organization system. I may use it for something else and I have it and I haven't gotten rid of it, but it's there. So I, I might be able to use it for something else that will work for me. Your space needs to make you happy and inspire you. And that's why I've put up the diamond paintings that I have, plus framing is very expensive, so it's a slow process. Um, but as I frame them and as I get them up, uh, I'll call your attention to them. Um, and I've got some, some fun games, kind of like a Where's Waldo game coming up for my channel, so you'll have to wait on that. Um, so it just needs to make you happy and inspire you. Like I said, I have a picture of Marlon and I. I have just some things that some really kind people have given me that make me happy. Um, just make your space inspire you and make you happy. Um, look for what you already have. You may already have organization stuff that you're just not using that's hanging around, boxes, bins, whatever. Use what you already have. Um, that can save you some money. And I will tell you, uh, I went to Ikea. I looked at expensive organizational systems and I didn't use them. First of all, there's not a lot of room in this small room. So I used Michael's. I mean, Michael's saved my life with that Simply Tidy brand. I keep saying Simply Tidy. Look up Simply Tidy on Michael's. You will, you'll thank me for it. It's not expensive and you can get a lot of good use out of it. So look for what you already have, but look for cheap alternatives. Dollar Tree has bins and everything for a dollar and a quarter. Uh, don't overlook Dollar Tree. Um, go vertical and use wall space. That's what I did in the closet. That's what I did over here. Use your doors. Hang stuff on the door and put stuff in it. That is a great use of space. Um, that's, you know, use, that's space that normally people don't think about, but if you've got limited space, use that. Number six, Reconfigure if you need to. For those of you that have been watching my channel for any length of time, remember this was turned another way. I turned it this way and I have so much more room. So look at the room you've got and if you can reconfigure some of the things where you are, it may help bring you more space into your, uh, into your craft room. So reconfigure 
the furniture in, in the room if you need to. Um, huh. Number seven, and this is a big one and this is what I'm gonna talk to you about in the end. Make tough decisions about what to keep and what to get rid of. That was very hard for me. As crafters, and I am one of you, so I'm not saying or trying to preach or trying to say I'm any better than you because I am you. I am one of you. I, you are my people. You are my tribe. Um, it was very tough to make decisions on what to keep and what to get rid of. I have been doing this for two years. I know there are many of you out there that have been doing it for longer. Over the years, your tastes change. Uh, things change that you thought you know, you might have purchased something on impulse, I know I have, and then thought, what am I ever gonna do with this? That type of thing. Don't beat yourself up, up about that. Sell it on a D-Stash site, donate it, get rid of it, um, take it to a retreat. I'm taking a lot of things to a retreat to give away and, and to trade or what have you. Um, but those tough decisions have to continue to be made because you don't want to end up, I don't want to end up back where I was. And if I'm not going to end up back where I was, I have to continue to maintain the space and keep it organized. I will tell you, I know there's a lot of anxiety and depression in the diamond painting community. Clutter, I would have to think, I am not a doctor, nor do I know anything about medical stuff. But I know I don't have depression or anxiety and this mess in here was giving me anxiety. It was, and it was depressing. Um, cleaning up can really, I feel so much better. I feel like a weight has been lifted because every time I looked in this room, I didn't want to be here. It was a mess. I, I just, it just made me nervous. It, it made me depressed because it was like, oh my God, I've got to do something. I haven't done anything. I got down on myself. Um, so again, doing this is really, it, it, at the very least, it's going to make you feel 10 times better and you now have a beautiful space that you can work in. Um, do your research. Don't grab the first thing you see. That's what I wanted to do at Ikea when Marlon had basically had it with me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, this was a wasted trip. I wanted this big, expensive organizational piece. Well, that wouldn't have even fit in here. Um, and I think it would have been more of a hindrance than a help. So do your research. Um, Facebook Marketplace, guys, they have stuff all the time, furniture and, and things that you can get for very, um, if you're not on Facebook Marketplace, I would definitely uh, recommend getting on there because they have things all the time at, at very reduced prices. So you can do this for not a lot of money. Um, Make a plan, number 10. And this is probably uh, where I need to talk to you. And I don't know, I may make some of you mad, may not, I don't know. I'm just being real. And I'm saying this because I'm one of you. You are my community, you are my tribe. You have to, once you do this, this is all well and good and it's beautiful and I love it. You have to make a plan as to what you're gonna do not to be in the situation again. We're, all, we're always gonna buy diamond paintings, more is gonna be coming in. So I decided I had two choices in this whole thing, to not be where I was in a mess. I either had to be extremely discerning about what I bought and not just buy on impulse all the time and that is very hard because all of us have FOMO, fear of missing out. Oh my God, everybody's talking about it on social media and it's gonna be the biggest diamond painting to hit you know, the 20th century and oh my God, I'll die if I miss it. Well, you feel good about having it at first and it's like, yeah, I got it, I got it. And I'm speaking from experience myself. I got it, I got this painting that everybody wanted and I got it and I'm so excited. How long does that really last? How long does that feeling really last? And then everybody's on to the next painting that everybody's super excited about and that one's left in the dust and it ends up in a closet and you forgot you ever bought it. So that feeling is great, but it's not gonna sustain you. Walking into an organized craft room, that is sustainable. Every time I walk in here, I'm happy. Um, so I either A, need to be more discerning about what I'm purchasing or if I bring a painting in, if I buy a painting, something's gotta go. Because I cannot continue to take seven huge storage containers to storage. We don't have the room, we don't have enough room. I can't just keep adding storage containers to storage. You're gonna run out of room. 
um, and you're going to end up back where you were and you don't want to do that after all this time. So um, those are my things that I've learned through this process. Um, I'm so excited to be able to share my new crafting space with you. Um, there will be some changes to the channel. Uh, I'm going to start unboxing in here. Uh, if the light permits, if the light's not good, we'll still be doing it on the dining room table, but not because I'm avoiding this space, but because I want you to be able to see. Uh, I will be adding pieces to the, um, I'm calling this not my craft room, I'm calling it the painter's place. I have a door sign coming that I ordered from Amazon that says it, I'm so excited. Um, and this will just be a place where we can visit and I can unbox things and um, I feel very comfortable and joyful in here. Uh, so. Just watch for that, and um, when the gallery expands on the walls, I'll be sure to show you. And uh, we'll be doing some, we'll be doing some giveaways regarding that. I'll I'll be bringing that up in, in a future video. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Good luck with the Diamond Art Club new releases on Saturday. Ah, I do have a sneak peek video coming out soon, so um, I will leave you with this. Thanks for coming with me on this journey and thanks for all of your support. You guys have been so sweet to me. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is The Principal Painter and I am 